Okay, so there's another load of uh, stuff from Talangata. We get a lot of their uh, fill in from here. And um, I don't bother with some of this down here. We've got to reroute a lot of this. But um, when you do cutaways, this is uh, the original height. And then as you can see, the cutaways start to keep sort of going. Um, we've got to redo some pipes here in uh, 150. Got a whole stack of 150s up there. Um, and obviously uh, we're just mapping out where uh, first thing is to, to get this thing right down as low as possible and uh, reconnected to our other pipe there. Um, and uh, oh, it's just one of those painful tasks, you know, you've got to do. But um, um, we've just taken the big excavator back. So we're back to sort of two Bobcats, one excavator on this. Uh, but tomorrow what will happen is um, this will all get leveled out and we'll sort of etch in where the building's going to go. And uh, as you can see, it's just been a, a lot of people, people that have been here before um, probably won't recognise <laughs> what I'm showing you because it looks so different. Um, the old dog kennels used to be just over here um, and what we're doing is we're creating more of a almost like a backyard feel um, to some extent uh, because uh, we wanted to try and you know just make this property not look so commercial sometimes it does um, based on the you know, activities that are here uh, but this is the uh, this is the job that we've had to do for for so long and um, and I'll tell you what, we've got a lot of retaining to do, as you can see along that far side there. And uh, then we've got to basically um, just get stuck into it. And uh, there goes Kane. Kane's from uh, Talangata. <laughs> He's just getting up there. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. Um, uh, they, they supply all our um, fill and bits and pieces. As you can see, um, when they hit the pipe here, um, which, you, by the way, you're always going to do, uh, we'll probably pick it up right back here somewhere. Uh, we'll you know, obviously try and get it as low as possible. Um, these 150s are pretty durable. There's no question. Um, they, they, you know, they, they're like a fire hose with um, water that you'll see coming out of them. But yeah, so the building basically uh, is going to be um, five meters out from this building here. So, um, and pretty much where I'm standing now, uh, you're already at the end of the other building. So, from these windows here. We're not actually losing um, the, the view um, out to the, the hills and etc., which is a little bit by plan. Um, over here, we don't really have a lot of windows or anything, so we sort of figured, well, uh, across the top here, well, there's going to be all roofing structure uh, going uh, to uh, to the building, and obviously pavers or concrete through here. But but um, yeah, it's a big big job. It's been wearing me out. I can tell you, and, and I'll tell you, what, I haven't been working half as hard as. Dovey and some of the boys. Um, it's, it's been a <laughs> been a fun one, but um, uh, the um, the real job is now to to work out the retainer. Um, once the building the crane comes in, and what we'll do where that pile of uh, fill just uh, got delivered, uh, that's where we'll probably pop the crane and we'll pop the building down just to here, and then the crane will just move it bang over to here with some sections underneath it. And this will look very, very different uh, by this time tomorrow. We might do a follow-up video on, on the pad and how it's all finished off. But um, and we've got to get whackers in and lots of bits and pieces to make sure it's all nice and firm. And uh, uh, should should sort of actually come up quite quite good. Um, haven't quite been able to get some of the heights we wanted uh, completely. Um, we had some the minute we we knew we had to crane it in uh, because we've got to put these big long five metre bars underneath with they have little like eye hooks on them um the problem is if we if we set it in the ground too much um we can't get the um the bars back out again so they they just be there forever so um when we do our roofing we're, we're going to have to have a bit of a play there's going to be a little bit of a height differential by probably two or three hundred mil but we'll work that out you can you can make anything work if you just try hard enough you know sort of but um yeah it, it's certainly uh a mess <laughs> a good mess uh, and the great thing is as you can see from the sky uh, what a good time to undo all your storm water because that comes down from a number of multitude of sheds gymnasiums um what else uh there's two sheds uh the gym uh two other buildings yeah there's a lot of water that comes down that pipe uh and uh and then heads down to 
tank that's right down the back section there. So there you go. Um, tomorrow there'll be a, a finished off pad and we'll show you sort of just... Uh, haven't bothered to show too much because we've got quite a few things that are really just... Um, <laughs> we're still halfway through and I'd prefer to show you you know more of a finished product but but this was important just to sort of show some of the stuff here um, sometimes um, <laughs> when I take video like this it's it's also good for me to be able to remember where my pipes are where things are you know later on when we're all um, sort of uh, uh, back you know sort of with uh, trenches filled in etc gives you a bit of an idea so you, know, you can kind of go right okay so you know it's, it's about at that point there's about five meters out and etc uh, so most of this pipe will be under the building um, so it won't sort of get any traffic until you get to about here where this becomes sort of walkways all the way through sort of there um, but um, anyway that's it uh, just a quick little look at what's been happening uh, certainly uh, uh, we are a lot lower than we were before which is good um, obviously uh, for things like um, when we go to uh, do um, either pavers or concrete uh, past here we needed to get down a bit otherwise you're just going to have water flowing in and we want to get that water out no matter what we do we want to try to project it all with that shed there's going um it's a nasty looking shed it always has been so uh, that'll be gone and uh you know that once again we'll you know, be able to trench water out um uh, any sort of um, uh, and that's more for overflow water coming off um uh, all the way from the front up there believe it or not it's uh we've got to bring some piping down and then just sort of get rid of it but these things are always sent to try us. Anyway, all the best, 73s. And uh, this is the, uh, the sort of radio museum project slowly but surely coming together. All the best, bye.